Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is um question 18 solution, and the question says that we should do this. That's log 0.25 base what is eight. We should find the we should evaluate the value of log 0.25 is eight. We have your solution here. So at the end of the day, it means that like I said, we turn this one to what to a fraction. Okay, and how can we do that? So this is same thing as log 0 0.25 base 8. It's same thing as saying log, like I said, you move this point two times, two times, and it will give us 25 over what? 100. Okay, 25 over 100 base what? Base 8. 25 over 100 base 8. Okay, because I'm moving the point two times to the last value, which the last value here is what is five. Okay, so that is what you would need to do first. You convert it to a proper fraction. It's just simple. It's just simple, straightforward. So what do you do here? It means at the end of the day, I will now write log eight. Twenty-five can go here one. Twenty-five can go here four. So this is simple as one over what? One over four. It's as simple as that. It's just like chin chin and what and pure water. So um here we can say that log one over four is same thing as what saying log four raised to the power minus one indices. Okay, one over four is same thing as saying four raised to the power minus one. What are we trying to do? We're trying to simplify, we're trying to evaluate, we're trying to break it down so that we'll not be able to move further again. So here, don't forget, from the power law, under logarithm, we can bring it to the back of law, okay? This implies that, this implies that we have minus 1 times what? Log 4 base 8, okay? So that implies that we have minus 1 log 4 what? Base what? Base 8. Then at the end of the day, we now have, that implies... You can have minus one times. I can simplify this further. This is two raised to power two. Okay, then I can simplify this one to two raised to power what? Two times two, four, four times two, eight. You can see now. I can simplify four to two times two. I can also simplify eight. Okay, to two raised to power to two raised to power three. Okay, it's as simple as simple as that so i can simplify that so it's very clear two times two will give me four two times two four four times two eight okay that's two raised to power three now what you just need to do let your mind go straight to the law of log reading we have power law here we also have power base law okay what you just need to do is also apply those law here like this two we come to the back of log okay we come to the back of this log the two will come to the back of this log then these three will also come to the back of this log but it will be inverse inverse okay you write the inverse that is what the law says okay that implies that this is minus one times two times this one one over three okay log okay times log base two base 2 it's as simple as that okay so for this 3 here that is the inverse here okay you have the inverse 1 over 3 then for this 2 here you also have what you have here so for the power of the base power of the base base is that if it's coming to the back of the log what do you do write the inverse if it is 4 1 over 4 if it is 3 1 over 3 if it is 2 1 over 2 okay that's the power of the base but the power of the number comes straight to the back of it without doing any inverse at all so it means that this is equals to what do we do this is minus 2 and then minus 2 times minus 1 is what minus 2 so minus 2 over 3 okay log 2 base what base 2 you see it now log 2 base 2 the same number it means it's equal to 1. So this is minus 2 over 3 times 1. So it means the answer is what? Minus 2 
over 3. It's as simple as that. So it means the answer is what? Minus 2 over what? Over 3. So log 0 0.25 base 8 is equal to minus 2 over 3. Continue to like, continue to comment, continue to share. Continue to reach, want to reach a lot of students that are having issues with mathematics. Um, cheers.